With um, the lip edema that I have, I've had manual drainage for about three to four years now, twice a week, uh, just to keep the pain at bay. Um, when I did my first surgery with Dr. Amron, I did my whole thighs and the pain during surgery was um, not too bad, not so painful, but the recovery definitely was more so painful. Um, maybe for two, three days it was painful and then everything went well. I had drainage three days a week for the first three weeks and my lymphatic drainage uh, therapist said that my thighs, the feeling of my thighs versus my calves were a lot different. Um, it seemed like my calves were draining just fine. It was still stuck in my arms and still in my calves. Um, and the pain in my thighs completely went away. I had pain a lot before my surgery. And so my second surgery was on my calves and my arms. And that was Friday, today's Monday. Uh, that surgery, my calves were very, very painful during surgery. It was very painful. Um, but my recovery uh, on Saturday morning when I woke up, it was amazing. It did not hurt. I, I feel good. I feel really, really good. There's not a lot of bruising. Um, and I haven't had any pain in either of the areas. Uh, I had drainage on Saturday and my lymph was moving much better. My massage therapist said that the lymph um, that she used to have to push through my abdomen area to help flow through back to my heart, um, that she didn't, it wasn't stuck there anymore. My thighs were not stuck there. Um, of course, I'm still swollen, so she couldn't tell me. She told me it would take two or three sessions to see um, how the lymph actually felt um, in the whole body, but um, it always got stuck in the abdomen area and it's no longer stuck there. Um, I had been looking after um, losing my um, um, baby with my last pregnancy and I gained 20 pounds right away, just like I did um, my past two pregnancies. I really wanted answers, I demanded answers. I went to my doctor, I was looking, um, trying to get every test, seeing what it was, seeing what the pain was. I really didn't want to take no for an answer. Went to a massage therapist that told me, um, you know, you should look into lipedema. And I did, and, it, I looked everywhere I saw. I saw that they did surgeries a lot in Europe, um, out of the country, and I didn't feel comfortable with that. So I did a lot of looking. I didn't find anybody, and maybe about a year after I found my diagnosis, um, I happened to come across Dr. Amron, and I had seen a patient um, of his as well online. Um, I, and then a, a, I came in to see him, and he did say I needed the surgery. I thought I would, um, I've always been active and athletic, so I, after I saw him, I thought I'm gonna give it one last time. I worked out really hard, I did boot camp, I did a whole year of, of complete training. I went down about 40 pounds, um, but the fullness in my legs and the pain in my legs did not go away. So when I came back a year after to him, um, that's when I, I knew I needed to commit. I waited, I saw more reviews on him, um, talked to other doctors in the area, and it seemed like he was the most knowledgeable, he had the most experience. Um, he looked at me as a whole and didn't just look at me, um, yep, we're gonna just take all of that out. He just did his whole exam and told me what he felt and um, I went with that and I was comfortable with him and trusted in him so that's when I um, 
book the appointment right away so that I didn't get scared and think I was gonna try again because it's always been a vicious cycle of mine and it just never goes away and I always have the pains. I feel amazing um, after my first surgery. They do say um, that you can work out after two weeks, so I didn't go back to boot camp, but I started um, walking up hit steep hills, and I was just amazed because my thighs did not hurt. There was just a different feeling of being able to go and go and not be exhausted and feel like um, my legs were holding me back. Um, I had more pain in my thigh, I mean my calves, um, but um, my thighs were great and I went back to boot camp. I felt good. I hung in there and that was three weeks after surgery. Um, so now I'm, I'm a bit, I know that I've had surgery. I am walking a little slower than normal, um, but I feel great. I feel amazing and can't wait to, to see like where this puts me and how I feel. I did this. I didn't. I knew it wasn't gonna look like Barbie, but I really did this for the pain and so that it doesn't progress and I have that, that chance in life to, to just be normal and be painless.